story to tell. The Ilyushin Il-28 was the first mass-produced jet bomber in the Soviet Union, it was also built under license in China under the designation Harbin H-5. NATO designated this aircraft as Beagle for all three versions Il-28 bomber, Il-28R reconnaissance and Il-28T torpedo bomber version. The Il-28U training version, nicknamed Mascot. Introduced in 1950, total production in the USSR was 6,316 aircraft, and over 319 H-5s were built. The Il-28 had its first flight in 1948, just three short years after World War II had ended and the several years into the jet age. The fuselage was extremely slender with a bubble canopy on top for the single pilot. The nose was of the glasshouse variety and held a position for the bombardier. An additional crew member was fitted in the extreme rear section of the fuselage and operated both the radar and a twin NR-23 23mm cannon turret. The most distinct design feature of the IL-28 was the elongated engine nacelles that were fitted under each high-mounted monoplane wing assembly. The engines were of Klimov type and supported close to 6,000 pounds of thrust each. Another pair of 23mm cannons were afforded the pilot, with these being mounted just under the nose assembly. Though the wings were of straight design, the tail section featured swept back vertical and horizontal surfaces of a traditional, and more modern aircraft. Bomb loadout consisted of up to 6,600 pounds or two light torpedoes in the anti-ship role. The crew of three were accommodated in separate, pressurized compartments. The navigator, who also acted as bombardier, was accommodated in the glazed nose compartment, while the pilot sat under a sideways opening bubble canopy with an armored windscreen. The gunner sat in a separate compartment at the rear of the fuselage. Appearing after World War II, the IL-28 became the first jet-powered bomber in service with the Soviet Union, and became a mainstay of the Soviet Air Force for decades after that. The Beagle was also included in a military package to Cuba, along with missiles, that would go on to fire off the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. Additionally, reception of several IL-28 examples to Egypt was one of the more decisive factors in hostilities between the Arab nation and Israel in the Suez War of 1956. In the 1990s, hundreds remained in service with various air forces over 50 years after the Il-28 first appeared. The only H-5s in service currently are approximately 80 aircraft which operate with the Korean People's Air Force.